Good day, YouTube. Oh, geez, what is today? About, hmm, the 27th of September, 2022. Thereabouts. It's a Sunday. It's a Sunday afternoon. This is my 1975 Vanguard City Car. Um, this is, uh, I don't know, one of six or so videos I've done so far. Um, we just completed earlier today, they're getting the wheels and tires all on and all pretty and get the bumpers reattached and so forth. And now we are digging into lights. Um, uh, got some stuff to show you. I have the dash pulled. I've already put the ignition switch in. It didn't come with an ignition switch at all. And, if you're working on something similar to this, you may not got a key or whatever. So I just ordered one on Amazon. It's a very simple ignition switch. It doesn't have an accessory position. It does have a start position, but obviously you don't need it in an electric car. But uh, it fit pretty well. I had to enlarge the hole slightly. You could tell by the, uh, well, the unit bit in my drill and the shavings on the floor. This is a wood grain aluminum dash. Um, and right now I got the uh, headlights on. They're backwards though because it's in park light mode. So somebody's hooked it up wrong. We'll straighten that up. Um, but for now, we're trying to get the um, A, the bulbs to work, and B, get everything changed, upgraded to LEDs. So I'm jumping ahead because I really should be doing brakes right now because the car would run and drive, but it won't stop. Um, I do have a master cylinder for it. But we'll get to that. The um, reason I want to do lights, uh, first of all, I think I have better access to the master cylinder through that headlight. We'll find out here shortly. Uh, I just got this light working, but I didn't get LED bulbs for them because I didn't take the time to open them up to see what the bulbs were. I might have something on the shelf. I'll have to look. Um, these, uh, obviously, that's broken, and they're incandescent, and they don't look very good. So we got new ones. Actually, I bought a shitload of them. If that's a term. I actually already had probably enough in my cabinet over there to do this, but I bought 20 because I want to upgrade my lights on my camper, also my truck camper. Um, so, anyway, I got new ones for here. These would be LEDs. I think there's, yeah, eight or ten. I think there's ten LEDs, five on each side on these bad boys. So, those will look nice. Get them all updated, nice and bright. Um, the headlights on this thing aren't even halogen. Yeah, you can tell they would say halogen if they were. So the regular old seal beams. Um, so let's get some LEDs for those, right? Look at those bad boys. So this is a high-low beam with the halo. And supposedly this is two colors of halo. What I wanted was a white um, while we're in like park light mode run in light mode I guess we'll call it and then an amber to hook it up to the turn signal so um, with that light being on right now that's actually odd because where would the turn signals be those should be turn signals they shouldn't be on with the headlights and the turn signals don't work so probably it's a related issue so that's why we're getting into the diagnostics part of this thing so this one doesn't work um, figure that one out. Let's go around the back side and see what else we got. That one doesn't work. We'll figure that one out. We have a tail light, or do we have a tail light? It looks pretty bright. I know it's hard to tell on camera, but uh, almost looks like a turn signal. But it didn't come on until I turned the headlight switch on. So we'll figure that out. And we got nothing there. And we got those two up there. So. Um, if that's a low filament on, that's great because then the turn signal would be the high filament. And that would be the backup light. I did put it, the switch in reverse and it doesn't function. There is a license plate light I haven't looked at yet. So, um, I don't think this can be too crazy of a diagnostics thing, but some things have been goofed up a little bit, so we need to straighten them up. Like I said, this is headlight switch, and that says park. And that says, I don't know, I think it's headlight. So this is the turn signal switch. The key is on, so this should work. 
that's not doing anything. We have indicators up here that aren't doing anything. Um, we have high low beam, which does work. Um, and the horn, if you push that in, does, also does not work. There's a fuse box right down here. I just will go through the whole fuse box with the light and see what works or what doesn't work. And then uh, let's go around the other side. I already took these out and I didn't show them to you, but they were old uh, analog bolt meters. Um, a little bit cool, but a little bit old, and they were destroyed. So they were kind of like that, analog meter. Um, but I found some that I liked a lot better. We'll, um, we'll have to build a little panel to cover this and so we can center these other ones. But they these didn't all match each other. Once I got did, let's show you those. Kind of aircraft inspired, I think. Um, so anyway, I got two of them that are 30 volt scale. Because this thing's got two 24 volt setups that get tied together as a 48 volt string via the uh, contactors. So I got two 30s because that's what I had in it. And then I got one 15 for a 12 volt source. So a couple of these batteries are tapped for 12 volt, but I can also see remnants inside of another battery box and such that they may have had a separate 12 volt battery to run the 12 volt accessories, which I might end up putting back. So um, we have two 30s and a 15. Put those in a nice panel. That'll look good. This is the box that the ignition switch came in. Um, that's not going to do you any good because you probably don't know how to read that. Um, Amazon purchase, inexpensive, 12 bucks or something. And there's some of the LED bulbs I got for the taillights. Hopefully they work good. Um, I bought a couple. I was going to throw in one of the trackers. And if they work good, I'm going to order a bunch of them. They look good. Um, I didn't want to order like 20 <laughs> right off the bat. I wanted to try them out. So we're trying them out here. We'll try them out on the tracker. If I really like them, we'll get a bunch. So let's start in on the diagnosis of this thing. Start taking stuff apart. Um, we'll end, uh, end up you know, closing out here for today and reconvene next weekend on the lights. So I'm going to go to my cabinet and see what I got for light bulbs for LEDs that fit these guys. And we'll get those changed out figure out why these don't work, start sorting out wiring issues or whatever we got, blown fuses, and go from there. So I'll bring you back when I am well into this thing and have something to show you. All right, guys, here's what we've done so far. I went through all the fuses, and here's how I do it. That's probably how everybody does it. Just get yourself a test light and just start checking them, right, both sides. So one side is obviously going to be hot if it's on. I don't have the switch on right now. So a bunch of these aren't on. Anyway, some of them are on. Anyway, if one side's hot, one side's not, the fuse is gone. And that is what we found. We found one fuse gone. Um, so we replaced that. And that was the turn signal circuit. It's not fixed yet, but that was the turn signal circuit. Um, also the horn, which did start to work. So we have a horn, bigger than the car. Uh, one thing I noticed here was this wire hanging down. And if you hit it, it was hot with the key on. Um, and I see somebody has removed it from the brake light switch. The brake light, the brake pedal's not returning. Um, that should fix itself when we get the master cylinder replaced. I don't know if you can see it, but the master cylinder is just total rust bucket. Anyway, showed you we've got one, or maybe I didn't show you, but we got one. I uh, haven't fixed the uh, little dome light thing yet, so we'll work on that. Um, i got to take it apart from the inside to get that out. So, turn signals. Here's what's going on with those. We'll see if you can see down in there, but uh, there's relays. Two-pole, double-throw relays. So, in... Here's... Um, I know you can't really see it. It's just buried in there. They're going to be really fun to get to. I think I'm going to pull those and replace them with modern day Potter Brunfields or something. Anyway, um, what is occurring in those relays is they're using the same filaments, the same bulbs for taillights as turn signals. 
Um, I'm going to think on that for a little while. I might completely redo how that's done. But in one position, you can hear the relay pull in. In the other position, nothing. That one's working. This one's not. The power is getting to the relay, so the relay itself, the coil is bad. Um, I can't make it work. So um, if it was, if they'd work, I'd leave them. But it's not working, so I'm going to deal with it. Just had to figure out in what way. There's more than one way to skin a cat. There's more than one way to fix that. I'm going to think on that. Sleep on it a little bit, as they say. All right, I'll show you what else I've been fiddling with. I drilled the rivets out. These lights are riveted in. Took this lens off. It does have two bulbs in it. I thought, oh, interesting, two bulbs. I wonder if they use one bulb for a running light and one for a turn signal. They did not. It's that relay setup that allowed this light to be both. Um, and I might, again, might do that in a different way. Got a couple ideas. Um, so that, that we just simply have a hot and a ground coming out to it. So I'll drill that hole a little bigger so I can get a splice through here so I don't have to terminate that thing up in the nose of this car because uh, this big boy is not getting in there. We'll just make a bigger hole. And these new lights uh, will just wire right up. These have two wires on them as well, a black and a red. So we'll solder and shrink tube those up nice shape and that'll be that. So that's the plan for that. I've got the headlight sort of pulled. Um, I want to pull the bucket out, but I'm not sure if I'm going to, if the juice is worth the squeeze. You know what I'm saying? But I think they're bolted and nutted. And other than that, me getting someone to crawl under that dash. Hire the neighbor kid or something, but maybe it's not worth pulling. Maybe I can deal with getting that master cylinder out without having that bucket out of there. However, having the bucket out of there would be helpful. All right, let's look at the back. These are actually pretty nice little taillight buckets or stainless steel. I actually have a bunch of those somewhere too. So I've got this lens pulled and uh, yep, that bulb is gone. So we'll see about uh, putting that LED in. And the sockets are in nice shape. They've not leaked. There's no rust or corrosion in them. So let's throw one of the LEDs in there and see what it looks like. I know it's hard to tell the camera, but the... That's a lot dimmer than I was hoping for. I did try the turn signal. It does get very, very bright. But it also makes me think that that one there's in backwards, wrong bulb, something. It's too bright. So uh, let's take that one out. All right, I actually had bought four of these. I opened up the other package, put the other two bulbs in. These are much better. These are correct. The other ones actually smell like they're burning. So I just see about getting those replaced. Let's put the lenses on. Well, that's a bunch of crap. That is not a turn signal. Oh, great. Now that one's went out. No, they're getting hot. <laughs> Shit. Hmm. Well, those bulbs were junk. I'll uh, see about replacements, I guess. That's why I wanted to dig into lights. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? It's got its own little light show. All right, let me uh, see about getting replacements, and we'll start filling with the rest of it, and I'll bring you back when i got something a little more interesting to show you. But the, these made-in-China bulbs are garbage. They sure look good. I probably have something on the shelf. I'll put something better in it. Okay, we fast-forwarded to Saturday, October 1st. I think it's 1st October. Yeah, I think it is. Anyway, I did have another pair of evidently better LED bulbs on the shelf. I put them in. Solved the problem, and I, now I'm working with the seller to return these other ones. He's starting to play games, starting to make me mad. He doesn't want to do that. Or we'll do a whole story on a video or something on this particular seller and the bulbs that he sells. And then maybe people quit buying them. How would that be? Okay, moving on. So, anyway, we got uh, taillight turn signals here. And then we're going to replace these with uh, ones that got 10 LEDs in them. And um, I'm going to do a separate video, but how this car was wired to turn these into turn signals is very interesting. They're using 
uh, two pole double throw relays or actually an open relays mounted under the dash. I think I showed it to you earlier. Of course, it's been a week for me, but I think I showed them to you. One of them, the coil's bad and it's not pulling in. So I ordered a couple of enclosed two pole double throw relays um, and we're going to replace those. We're going to put it back the way it was originally done um, and go from there. So uh, we're digging into the side marker lights. I've got an LED in that one. Um, I ordered them. Let me show you kind of what they look like. I also had some of these on the shelf, but they weren't as bright as the ones I just got. So these are two different LED lights. These are the ones I'm going to use. Those are a little dimmer, I think, for dashboard, dash instrument panel use. So here are these. Um, and I got a package of 10, I think. Yeah. So I got plenty. So what do you say we put one of these in and then the left front here I got this one opened up so that's kind of before the it's actually a fairly large incandescent bulb so they were actually pretty bright um, we're trying to take the current draw down and make the lights as bright to this little car shows up best as it can let me stick you on hold put you in a stand let's change it out it's probably gonna be warm to touch LED. Nice and bright, isn't it? Somebody got a sick car out there. Drive on, buddy, drive on. There. This thing gonna look great at night, isn't it? All lit up. Let's do this one. Okay, still so trying to get that book like Beautiful day in Oregon, first day of October. I mean, beautiful. I actually spent the last couple days on the coast, helped my dad with a couple projects. It was a beautiful drive home. Didn't really want to come home, actually. But we got a city car to get working. Hmm. Let me get something to get that lens off without hurting it. Got, he's got a knife. You guys have ever seen these snap-on knives they're really really cool and if you pull it out and push that button it pops a blade out you can flip it over put it back and then retract it it's done very cool knife got a couple of them what they do glue it in I don't want to hurt it. All right, let me fiddle. Finally making a little progress. I've got a bigger screw. I'm just threaded into the plastic. I sprayed it with WD-40 too. I've just broken the seal without breaking the lens. It's moving. Come on, it's getting there. Wow. Some Einstein used silicone. I knew it. I knew that there's silicone on this thing. That was stupid. Dang you. Why would you do that? All right, we got it off of there without breaking it. That's awesome. All right. Don't silicone your lenses on. How will you ever get them off? Light's in good shape.
Oh, yeah, it's always fun. Always fun. Uh, got some tape. Maybe that'll convince it to come out of there. Thing be in a pain. Wow. She's a little corrody. Let's hit it with some WD-40. Little juice. See if we can get the new bulb in without the hassle of getting the old one out. Yeah, there she is. Where's that Volkswagen again? Well, it's not a Volkswagen, it's sure sounds like it. Ugly white car. Somebody probably thinks it's pretty good. It sounds slow. Alright, well, the left, or excuse me, the right front clearance light, I've tried a number of different bulbs in it, and it's not working. Um, the LED tries to light just, you know, a very little bit. Um, so I'm thinking it might be wired backwards or something. They probably didn't care, and they wouldn't have known the factory, because incandescent bulbs will light either polarity. So I don't know, I'll fiddle with that offline. Um, what's next? We're going up here to these guys. See if we can get those replaced. Still got the frontal part, but we'll look at that. Oh, you know what? Let's, I'm so curious to know if that backup light, hopefully it's burned out because it doesn't work and we can get it working. Phillips head, grab my little screwdriver. Hopefully I got an LED bulb on a shelf that fits it. And we can clean up that chrome ring. It's a pretty cute little light. It's a threaded, like an 832 screw. Stay. Could be glass. Maybe it's plastic. Not sure. Drop the screw. Get back there. Hopefully they didn't silicone this one on. There we go. Breaking the seal. Oh yeah, bulbs burned out. It's plastic. It's a 1156. I'm sure I have one in an LED. So let me go find one. I'll shoot some WD in that socket. Let me go hit my stash for a bulb. All right, got one. 1156, should be good. All right, so I gotta put the key on and put it in reverse, the switch. So 
work? Yes! I love it when a plan comes together. All right, let's clean up that lens piece of trim. Well, if you've watched my channel any length of time, you know I'm a big fan of Lime Away for getting rust off. Uh, I have a whole playlist devoted to this, so if you're curious, find the playlist. And you don't really want to get on your hands for any length of time anyway. We're just putting this on. We're not going to leave this on more than about 10 minutes. I find it you could start damaging the chrome at that 10 minute mark. It's got a light acid in it. You know that it does. So try to get you a close up view here. Yeah. Alright. Let me grab a towel. I'll zoom you in so you can kind of watch it work. See there? About like that. Okay. So now I'm going to rinse it off. All right. Always the controversy. What do you clean it with? Where do I get the stuff you clean the stuff off with? It's just soapy substance. I grab whatever is within a arm's reach. It's usually something like white wall cleaner or 409 or fantastic or something. Let me go in the cabinet. I'm going to grab the first thing that looks like soapy substance. And it's going to be you know, white wall cleaner. Why? Because it's a soapy substance. That's it. Use anything you want. It needs to be refilled. I buy this stuff by the gallon and refill my sprayers. And that'll neutralize it, right? And then we'll give it a quick polish, right? This is all mostly in real time, so it didn't take very long, right? A couple minutes at most. Look at that. It's got one little deep area of crud, but you know. Is what it is. Wow, it looks good. Big fan of Lime Away. Okay. All right, I'm gonna give it a quick polish here. This is just a quick turtle wax, chrome polish, liquid stuff. Decent. How about the lens? You need white wall cleaner. Why? Because it's close. And it's almost empty. And it's good cleaner. Use it for everything. All right, 
close this up. Close, close, close. Put this thing back on the car. It's awesome. Yeah, it's gonna look great. All right, let's uh, work on those upper ones. Okay, turn the lights off. Two bulbs. Two bulbs, different bulbs. All right, these are riveted in, so let me get a drill. Oh wait, it's probably in here. I wonder if this Unibit's got what it takes to drill those out. It was in the drill when I put the ignition switch in. It's spinning on me. Let me get a smaller drill. Smaller drill. Different drill. Let's uh, see what the uh, new ones look like. It actually looks like the screw holes line up. Where the wire drops in doesn't. But we can drill a new hole for that. Yep. I think it does. Good there. We'll clean this up. Um, mounting, mounting, mounting. Got a couple ideas. Um, this light isn't real conducive for a pop rivet. You can see that it's got this PC board, although it is removable. So we could rivet these in. Hmm. Let me look at this a little closer. All right, that's clean. Let's get these cut loose. I do have the lights off. Okay, let's get this one out of here. Now then, the new ones, the hole in a different spot which we could drill, we could take, uh, look. I need some room for a splice to go through. There is access to this from the inside. What a bear cat to get to, especially for a dude like me. So, thinking of drilling a bigger hole. A bigger hole. Maybe up here. Hmm. Kind of need to connect them though. Alright, let me figure this out. All right, I drilled a half-inch hole in the approximate location of the wires coming out of the car. 
Um, that PC board stands off of these standoffs right there. So I've got room behind here to make the splices. So let's do that. We want to drill a hole in the car. Yep. We use the same holes and we'll splice this back here. All right. We're getting there. Let me uh, grab some pop rivets. All right, should we rivet this thing in? Grab the big riveter. Thread the needle. Oh, I didn't see if it had clear the hole in the light. Well, gotta drill that out. Oops. Well, it didn't need much. Yeah. Thread again. I like the big riveter. It's got the little catch can. Catch the nails. Oh, wow. Click. Alright. Now then. Nice and steady. Okay. Now we gotta test wire these. I say that because they're only gonna work one way and both wires are black, so I don't know which one's which. So we'll test them for fun. Again, we have the lights off. So it's a 50-50 chance that I hook these up right first time. Are we lucky today? Twist and shout. those don't go together. We're going to turn the lights on and see if that was the right way. Negative Ghost Rider. So we'll reverse the polarity and we'll do them this way. And this way. Remember, a diode's like a one way electric valve. They're only going to work one direction. No touch. Well, that's not very good. We've got a connection that needs to be corrected. What is this? Uh, what is going on here? Yeah. Incandescents were burning fine. We're going back the other way in case, you know, we just weren't getting a good connection on my twisties or something there. That's ridiculous there. Well, well, Let's get her test light. Mm, I think what I got going on here, something is not well grounded. Um, yeah, definitely. 
the plates are changing. Changing, changing. So let me, uh, let me dig into my grounding issue. All right, got a better idea. So uh, video's getting kind of long. Let's get this one edited, get it up, um, and we're going to continue the lighting because we got some troubleshooting to do. Um, because the wiring was kind of such a mess, didn't really know what we got, you know, started with what we were handed here. But, uh, we don't have a ground up here, okay? Something's not grounded when I went, put my light across that. That light increased in brightness. So, um, so it's, it's, that's a grounding issue. There's no doubt in my mind. Um, I need to kind of look at the original wiring diagram, kind of figured out where this thing is grounded and bonded to the chassis and all that stuff get that sorted out then we'll come back and then we'll get these lights finished and that'll work here's what's going to happen with the front so the headlights on this thing aren't even halogens they have never been upgraded they are possibly the original headlights that ever came in this thing um we have i have this thing to sort out too it might just be the wrong polarity that might not be too bad just a bearcat to get to because it's all the way in the nose of this car and the only way to get to it is under the dash um we're working on Changing these out just like we're doing in the rear um, is going to probably have a similar issue until I sort the grounds out. We'll get to that. Um, what this thing does though, when, oh, I started on the headlights, sorry. Um, I got these halos I might have showed you in a previous video. It's going to be hard to see because the sun is blaring in through the windows. Let me block it. There we go. Got those really cool LEDs. It's supposed to have two colors of halo, a white. So you can use them kind of like a driving light. And then an amber, so you can use them as a turn signal. So these lights up front were driving lights, but they're the same filaments, okay? There was only two wires, a hot and a ground, going to them. So in when you wanted to turn, you put your turn signal on. It used a relay to interrupt these, okay? Interrupt these from being running lights or park lights, whatever you want to call them and allowed them to be turn signals, okay? I don't believe these were part of the equation, but they might be when I'm done with it, if I can get to them. I'll explain that. That's why I want to do a separate video on this turn signal and this relay interrupter. So that's kind of what's happening there. So we're going to update the headlights to the cool LEDs with a halo, double halo. So in running light mode, the white halo will glow. When we flip a turn signal on, these will flash. These will also run as running lights. These will run as running lights. And if I do the other relay trick, these will alternate with this one. So when this one comes on, you can have a relay to turn that one off and then it'll come back on. Anyway, I'll show you that in a future video. So guys, that'll end this for today. My dad's on his way over. We're going to the races. And uh, I'm not sure if I'll have much time to work on this tomorrow because my wife says I have things to do around the house. There we go. Guys, thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, and thumbs up, please. Please, please, on the way out the door. We'll catch you on the next video.